Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I'm going to be talking about all of the ebooks that I ended up downloading last month in February. Baby, baby. Normally I'm the ebook queen, love finding free ebooks, however this month was kind of low. So I'm going to also talk about my um, KU downloads, which I normally don't do because there's so many books I find for free and the book would be, e and the video would be even longer if I talked about Kindle Unlimited books, but I didn't download a lot of freebies this month, so I'm going to talk about the KU books I downloaded as well. So let's dive into it. Also, if you're curious on how I find free ebooks, go check out my video down below where I talk about and walk y'all through the process of me finding free ebooks. <laughs> so the first book we're going to talk about today is Royally Matched by McKenna James. This is still available to download for free. He's a prince, I'm a nobody. I don't belong in his glittering world of castles and private jets. I've been burned before and I'm still trying to clean up the messes from my past. No way I will fall for some smooth talking aristocrat, even if he's got the hottest bod I've ever seen and a killer smile that makes me forget where I am. I've got to get my life together and I don't need his help. Thank you very much. <laughs> As the crown prince, I need to find my queen, but in a room full of suitable matches, I come across Elizabeth. The haunting notes emanating from her cello awaken something in my soul and I know I must have her. The fact that she's not interested in becoming a queen is but a minor detail. I'll stop at nothing to make her mine. I love royalty romances, so I hope I love this one. And she plays the cello. That's so cool. I've never met or read about a character who plays the cello before. Next, I downloaded Stroke of Midnight, a Cinderella novel by Kay Webster. This is still available to download for free. Money can buy anything and anyone. As the head of the Constantine family, I'm used to my people bowing to my will. Cruel, rigid, unyielding. I'm all of those things. When I discover the one woman who doesn't wither under my gaze, but instead smiles right back at me, I'm intrigued. Ash Elliot needs cash, and I make her trade in crudeness and degradation for it. I crave her tears, her moans. I pay for each one, and every time she comes back for more. When she challenges me with an offer of her own, I have to decide if I'm willing to give her far more than cold hard cash. But love can have deadly consequences when it comes from Constantine. At the stroke of midnight, that choice may be lost for the both of us. So I guess it's a Cinderella novella. I think it's a trilogy. So I don't know if this ends on a cliffhanger or not, but it sounded fun. So I downloaded it. <laughs> Next, I downloaded Heart of Stone, a paranormal protector tale by Demel, Demez, I can't say the name, Demesla Carlton. <laughs> So sorry if I'm butchering that. Oh my goodness. Um, this is still available to download for free. This is a prequel to our author's Heart of Stone Gargoyle Gar oh man, I can't speak. <laughs> Gargoyle Shifter Steamy Paranormal Romance Series set in the Scottish Highlands. Yes. <laughs> oh, here comes Oreo. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> On the outside, Pamela is the perfect lady, spending her days sketching landscapes while waiting for her father to find her a husband, until she meets Ben, the stone mason at building her father's new castle. She knows she's found a kindred spirit with a heart as artistic as her own, but when family secrets come to light and the supernatural step in, fate has other plans and their very lives hang in the balance. That sounds super fun. I've never read a gargoyle romance. And that sounds so good. I don't know if this novella, like prequel novella, is like all about them only or if the rest of the series like explores their relationship more. I have to look into that, but that sounds really good. Next, I want to talk about a Kendall Unlimited download. We have The Orc's Wife, A Monster Romance by Lila Fay. So I read the first book in this series, The Orc's Bride, last month and loved it. <laughs> Gave it five stars. It was so good. I loved it. Um, and so I didn't know that book one would end on a cliffhanger, but it kind of did. And so I immediately downloaded book two. Um, I've just been having a really hard time reading ebooks right now with my brain and my uh, flare up and everything. Um, so I haven't had the chance to read it yet, but I'm so excited to. I don't want to read the summary because it can spoil book one. But book one is about like this orc. <laughs> And um, he's kind of like the general of this certain group of orcs. And he sees our heroine, who's a human woman. 
and is like, uh, I want her to be my wife. And so he tries to convince her to be his wife while going on a journey to their orc, kind of like capital nation. And um, I loved it. So fun. Can't wait to read more about them in book two. Another download from Kindle Unlimited is Big Brain by Cassie Mint. This is a book in her Big Boy series. I've read half of the books in the series. There's eight books and I've read four of them and so I just decided to download another one. Each book in the series is about like a bigger hero falling in love with a woman and I love them. They're so much fun. They're like under 100 pages always. They're just such a good palate cleanser. Like if you don't know what to read, if you feel like you're getting in a book slump, read a Cassie Mint book. They're so fun. It's the trip of a lifetime, ruined castles and ancient battlefields, but I can't stop longing for my burly professor. A year ago, I used to see more of him back before the professor's book deal and rise to TV fame. I used to visit his office hours. We'd sit and talk together going over lecture notes and assignments. A year ago, it felt like he was mine. He wasn't, obviously. Professor Monroe is twice my age and so off limits it's not even funny. So why do I miss him so badly? Why does my chest ache when, he pa when we pass in the halls? Why did I sign up for this trip looking for any excuse to spend a few weeks near him? And when we finally set foot in Scotland, why does it seem like the professor can't keep away either? <gasps> Ah, oh, I'm excited to read this one. Um, I've loved all the other books in these series, so hopefully I love this one too. Next, I downloaded Untangled by Lynn Lustig. This is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $2.99. Sometimes the tower looks like a gilded cage. After years of living at her father's whims, Reese finally breaks free, but her new job has a boss she likes a little too much. She didn't pursue her dreams to throw it all away for Leo, the CEO of her father's biggest competing company. She'll have to keep her lineage a secret, just like she kept her unexplainable ability to see trauma a secret her entire life. Leah was advised not to hire the young and beautiful Reese, but her experience makes her the perfect person to execute his company's industry-shaking event. Her charm and humor send his thoughts to forbidden places, but staying professional isn't a problem usually. As the event looms, leaked intel puts Leo's company on edge, and Reese barely escapes her father's prying questions about Leo's strategies. But as her connection to Leo intensifies, seeing his bisexual trauma like a steady map blends the lines of her personal and professional life. Reese may have been raised a sheltered princess, but she must survive the event without revealing her who her father is or falling in love with her boss before she can reveal her dad's self-serving plans. And at the bottom it says, content considerations, bisexual characters, steamy hot scenes, a cruel father, and strong language. <laughs> Next is another KU download. We have Deceived by the Gargoyles by Lillian Lark. Um, ever since Lillian Lark has been talking about this book, I wanted it. And so right when it came out, I downloaded it. <laughs> it's not a reverse harem. I think it's like four male guys or three male guys and one woman who's like curvy and plus size. Love to see it. Um, and she's a librarian, by the way, which I love too. So yeah, I got this off of Kindle Unlimited, or you could buy it for $4.99, by the way. A curvy librarian looking to start a family, a clan of gargoyles, and the deception that starts it all. My family has always found me lacking from the way I dress, how I look, the type of magic I have. My family name is full of pomp and prestige, and I want nothing to do with it. I'm a witch that knows how to set a goal, and I have one in mind. I want a real family. Dating is travesty. All the suitors I meet are looking for a connection to the family name I left behind. I need help. Enter the matchmaker. It seems too good to be true that I can give her a list of traits I want in a partner and have my deepest desire answered, but I'm all out of options. Love comes along in the most unexpected ways. But from the first moment I meet Elliot, Elliot Bramblewick, I have hope. But he's tricky. I'm not expecting him to be hiding two other mates, mates who are as alarmed and intrigued by my presence as I am in theirs. He thinks I'm a perfect fit for them, but can I open my heart and discard my long list enough to see if this is the family I'm looking for? None of my lists and plans prepared me for being courted by three gargoyles. That sounds so fun, so good. Another gargoyle romance in one video. And I haven't even read one before, so I love to see two of them. <laughs> Um, I hope to hopefully read this one soon because I have loved Stalked by the Kraken by Lillian Lark. Next, I downloaded her Alien Priest by Michelle Mills. This is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $2.99. I'm the Hierarchan High Priest of a remote monastery on the planet Sallow. 
I spend my days in quiet contemplation, keeping my flame throwing banked and nursing my war wounds. And I take my vows of silence and celibacy very seriously, very seriously. Then one day, a mouthy, gorgeous human female is dumped onto the stone steps of the main altar. And suddenly, I'm tempted like never before. This is a Monster Bites novella, a spinoff of the Monster Love Curvy Girl series. Only read if you enjoy a taste of the profane, sat satanic-looking heroes and curvy girl heroines. That sounds so fun. It's under 100 pages, and that's something that I need right now. So I love it. I love alien monster romances. Y'all know me. <laughs> and next I downloaded another KU book. We have Girls Weekend, A Monster Bade Romance by C.M. Niscoda. Niscoda? I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that. Um, yeah, it's on Kindle Unlimited, or you could purchase it for um, $3.99. A Weekend with Friends, Fine in the Sun, and Huge <laughs> Naked Orcs. What could be better? That's what three suburban elves think when they book a trip to an orc nudist resort. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've never even read this summary before. <laughs> well known for its um, residents and hedonistic parties, Riz, L'Oreal, and Selva arrive with plans to sample the DTF locals and work on their hot tans, not to catch feelings. When L'Oreal meets a syrupy voiced gentleman who seems interested in more than just weekend fling, she finds sticking to the plan is easier said than done. From a public bathhouse to a back alley pub, the trip has unintended consequences on the lives of the three work friends and the orcs they meet. Can a weekend of no strings actually end in love? Girls Weekend is a monster romance novella and is the first book in a limited series, which should be read as a series. There's a guaranteed HEA for all the characters in the series, but your author is going to make them work for it. Content warnings include multiple POVs and non-linear storytelling, non-human characters, size difference, MFF scenes, and naked group activities. <laughs> that sounds fun. My friends love her books, and so I'm hoping I can love her books also and hopefully get another monster romance author on my list. And lastly, I want to mention one book really fast that I'm excited to read. I haven't read it yet, but I actually got the arc for it a couple, uh, like a month or two ago, but I wanted to shout out this author because she's actually a friend of mine. She's another romance tuber. She reads a lot of romance books and I love her recommendation videos. And she wrote a book that came out at the end of January. And so um, it's on KU if you want to check it out. It's called Portraits of Us and um, it's by Maraid. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. I'm so sorry. Maraid Lane. And um, I just love this cover. Isn't it gorgeous? It's so good. So um, she very kindly sent me an arc, but I thought I would let y'all know that this book is on KU and you could read it. And so here we go. I'm going to read the summary for you. Olive Walker is down on her luck, desperate to achieve her dream job as a photographer. Olive's life has turned to a single shade of gray. But when on a night out with her friends, her luck changes. A spilled drink and one dry cleaning receipt later, Olive has been offered a job, a lifeline. Be the tour photographer for world-renowned singer and songwriter Liam Quinn. Thrown together on a six month long world tour, what could go wrong? In a world of exclusive parties and late night concerts in far-flung corners of the world, Olive's life has turned upside down. Lines are blurred, meddlesome friends interfere, and a award-winning singer takes up permanent residence in Olive's mind. Can Olive really resist Liam's magnetic pull? That sounds really good. I'm so happy for Maraid. She published a book that is a huge accomplishment. So um, if you're very interested in the book, go check it out, go support her. Um, it's on KU or you could um, purchase it for uh, $4. It says $4.09, like $4.09. I'm just gonna say $4. <laughs> We're all here to support each other and love each other in this very small community. So go check it out. Anyways, there you have it. Those are all the books that I ended up downloading last month in February. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, leave me a pink heart emoji for all the pink I'm wearing today. Love all the pink. Anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Thank you.